Good afternoon YouTube, Xfile 2708 back again with another uh, five minute movie review. Um, as you can see from uh, from the thumbnail, uh, last night I checked out um, the reboot of Hellraiser from 2022. Um, I'd heard mixed things about it, um, hadn't watched a trailer. Um, but seen a few people here on YouTube and different Facebook groups that I'm on. Um, generally give it a, a, a mixed bag. Some people seem to really enjoy it. Um, other people weren't a fan of it at all. So I went into it with an open mindset. I'm a massive fan of uh, the original Hellraiser movie. Uh, don't mind the first three. I think they're uh, really good. Obviously, you know, the pinnacle being the uh, the original, um, is it 1987, I think it is, uh, for me. Um, absolutely love that original, timeless classic, brilliant film. Um, this one um, was, like I say, a reboot um, that got released in 2022. Um, and it, it runs just over two hours. I think it's something like two hours and one minute. Um no, I couldn't get on with it. I really couldn't. Um, positives for me um, in the movie. Looks really good. Um, no spoilers. I mean, you can tell um, from the poster art of the movie that um, Pinhead's rebooted as a, uh, as, as a female character. Um, they also keep the Cenobites in the movie as well. Um, Visually, the movie looks really good. Um, some great um, gore effects, um, some decent like um, body mutilation, if that sort of thing floats your boat. So a couple of um, moments during the film where um, you know you got some um, close-ups of um, body mutilation that um, made made my uh, stomach churn a little bit um, and put a, a little bit of a, a frown on my face but um, yeah visually look really good um, the um, the the setting the backgrounds those re worked really well um, very creepy uh, and dark in places um, and visually as well um, some of the um, the scenes and the backgrounds, they sort of go from, you know, what would be a normal thing, you know, in a warehouse or out and about. Um, and you start seeing like the walls coming in and things like that. So it goes from being a, a regular um, out and about scenario to something really dark and grim and, you know, into the, the, the depths of uh, depths of hell, if you like. Um so I enjoyed that sort of thing. For me, this movie ran far too long, two, two hours and one minute. Um, nothing for me really happened within that first hour. Um, personally, I think they could have cut half an hour out of that movie. Um, Character-wise as well, one of my bugbears with modern movies is... You really don't care for the characters. Um, for a movie that, like I say, ran just over two hours, um, you know, they put a lot of time into the characters and the character development, what the backgrounds were, what the girl's background was with um, with her addictions and things like that. Um, and, you know, really, you'd, you'd think after spending so much time on... Um, you know, showing those particular individuals, you'd actually warm to them and give a shit about their characters. Um, but for me, I didn't care for any of the characters at all. I don't know, may, 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 maybe I'm getting old and set in my ways, but, you know, I, I love a good film. Um, you know, the likes of Train to Busan, that was a, um, a modern zombie movie. It was world cinema. Um, so you watch it with subtitles, but the characters are absolutely superb. You know, you care about them, you feel for them in the situations and stuff like that. And for me, no, I didn't care for the characters at all. Um, the sort of movie where I'm like, yeah, the sooner these people get 
bumped off, you know, um, eaten by the Cenobites or um, killed by Pinhead the better. Let's, you know, let's kill them all off and roll the credits. I'd, I'd certainly had enough by, um, you know, probably an hour into the movie. So, uh, but there we go, guys. Anyway, that's um, my very quick five minute movie review. We're pretty much on um, five and a half minutes coming up. So, um, letterbox rating wise, guys, I gave this a two and a half out of five. Um, probably for me, the original Hellraiser trilogy um, is always where it's going to be at. Um, like I say, visually, this movie worked well. Storyline and characters, I really didn't care for. I thought they could have done um, something much better um, than they did. So, yeah, two and a half out of five. Average at best, probably, I don't know, maybe one, two and three were better. This may be six ahead of um, four and five in the franchise, but not one I'll be looking to buy on physical media um, at any point soon. It may be one I rewatch later on down the line, but um, definitely didn't float my boat. So there we go, guys. As always, please remember to like, comment and subscribe and all that good stuff. And I'll be back later on in the week with another video. Bye for now.